What is up everyone? My name is Al from GamesRip and today we are checking out the brand new emulator, oh well, let's call it the most up-to-date emulator for the Genesis 4.2c, Gens for All, but we are actually going to be checking out some homebrews, that's right, some cancel tiles and some homebrews working on the Dreamcast. Now, this is kind of just a way that you can see how well it actually works on proper hardware, how good is this Genesis emulator for the Dreamcast? So here we are, we're starting off with Tanza. Now Tanza, what an interesting title, this one. This homebrew came out a year or so ago. It's made its way to the Evercade console and obviously is a Genesis release as well. Now, how do I describe this? This is a side scroller, it's a run and gun, but I personally, the thing for me about it is the soundtrack, the soundtrack as you can hear, just listen, is absolutely fantastic. thing is the controls are absolutely solid although they can feel a little bit stiff it just feels like because this is played essentially on a d-pad when you're doing directional shooting it doesn't always feel you know it doesn't give you the same response as you would with an analog stick don't get me wrong though still a very very solid run and gun platformer like i said with a decent soundtrack but yeah this really is, like I said, I've thrown this in just so you guys can see how it plays on the Dreamcast. Here we go, brand new, aka it's actually a cancelled title, or it was a cancelled title until recently, on the Genesis. I believe this also came out of the Genesis Mini or Mega Drive Mini, I'm pretty damn sure anyway. Either way, Oh my god, if you love your running guns with a decent soundtrack, this one is a solid one. Again, this is the music and you understand why I love the soundtrack. Apart from the actual soundtrack being absolutely fantastic, as you can see, this game really is fluctuating between 50 and 60 FPS. I mean, it might not even be dropping down to 50 to be fair. It just works that down well. This version, 4.2C, really is hitting the nail on the head. Now, we've seen Genesis emulators over the years for the Dreamcast. They've never been quite there when it comes to speed. But as you can tell, this really is blowing every other one out of the water. Like I said, they usually have slowdown, or they stutter, or they just don't feel this damn fluid. Whereas you can clearly see, it's working absolutely well. There's there's no issues with controls. Controls are nice and responsive. There's no lag there at all. Yeah, it just works. And kind of how you'd expect a Genesis emulator to work on the Dreamcast. Let's face it, it's not really, you know, using all that much resource. Or certainly not. You know, to the extent of a game like Gunlord or something, that's a game that's natively running, but then again, we are emulating another system. So, yeah, be it what it is, it's working down well, and yet, a game like this, Ultra Call, this is a great way to play it. Colours are popping here, and, you know, like I said, it's keeping that consistent frame rate. And when you're playing a running gun like this, that really is key, because there, if there are drops or frame drops or anything, it disrupts the gameplay. But here, as you can see, it's clearly working down well. Yeah, I'm loving this. Let's move on to the next time. Now, 
Now, what can I say about this one? This one is possibly a little bit too close to home. I mean, yeah, okay. In a game sense, this is certainly by no means an absolute pile of garbage. I, It's a rubbish game, I'm going to be quite damn honest, and that's pretty damn brutal for me. You know, sometimes I uh, will give some games slack, but this... I mean, visually, it's just a crappy sort of air defense type. I don't even know what you call this. It's just not very good. And certainly not one I'd say go and check out in this collection. Here we go. So this is the last one looking in this collection. This is Nightmare Circus. Now, Nightmare Circus is another cancelled title that has now been made available to the public. And uh, yeah, I've got to be honest, it is trying. I will give it that. It is certainly trying to be a good game. Visually, I actually think it's pretty damn stunning. Controls, though, Jesus Christ, I am not a fan. The game just feels slow, it feels unresponsive. Now, yeah, maybe this is just because it essentially was cancelled or unreleased, and maybe it's just unreleased because it is just that damn unplayable. Yeah, though, I guess it is quite a cool concept. You're at a circus, it's full of ghosts and demons and God knows what else. Yeah, but that's all I think it really has going for its soundtrack. Uh, not great, I'm not gonna lie, it's really not that great. I think if this had been given a bit more time, then yeah, maybe would have been okay. But yeah, certainly not one I'd go out and get this collection to play. But there are, like I said, plenty of other titles on this collection that you will love. And, you know, let's face it, this is a good way to play a lot of these homebrews. Because a lot of them don't always get, you know, don't always get physical releases. And when they do, they often cost a lot. So if you've got a Dreamcast, this, in my opinion is the best way to play them. Obviously there is a link attached, so uh, do give it a check out. Like I said, I think you love it. I'll be gobsmacked if you don't. Because who doesn't want to play some Genesis on the Sega Dreamcast? I've been out from Games Rip. Like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you all soon.